Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another ground on an update video where today we're going to be doing a complete walkthrough of the most recently opened up lab, the Hayes Lab. Now, what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to show you guys, one, what you're going to need in order to go through the Hayes Lab, two, how to get to the Hayes Lab, and three, what is inside of the Hayes Lab by walking around in there and everything that you can find. Now, before we do that, I want to invite all you guys to like, comment, and subscribe and turn your bell notification to all so you guys never miss any grounded update videos because I'd hate if you guys were to miss any of the new updates that are coming out because they have already released two patches to their 10.0 update and it's changing this game drastically. So let's hop in and let's get on over there. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what you need. So let's open up our wonderful little inventory here and what you're going to need is the following. You are going to need a gas mask. You are going to need a light source and you are going to need some armor and a weapon before you go over there. Reasons, because there are things to fight. You are in the haze, so you will be taking damage from haze if you do not have a gas mask. And it is dark inside of the base because the base is broken down. It's not actually lit up because it is technically underground. So there is a trick to it though. Whatever armor you wear will take damage over time. Yes, when you are in the haze, your armor will take damage over time so be careful with what you're wearing over there because if you're wearing something like your ladybug gear that is a little bit more difficult to repair if you're still in early game it's going to take damage over time but be careful because some of the mobs you have to fight in there are quite dangerous which is why i'm saying you're going to need a weapon as well i would suggest at least a ant club to go in there you guys can find an ant club or if you guys want to grab the rotten uh the rotten larva blade that would be another good alternate to bring in there with you that's the base of what i would suggest you bring in there for weaponry because some of the things that are in there it could get a little dicey so now let's talk about how to get there so what we're going to do is you're going to look um at the map and you're pretty much going to look directly at the giant weed killer um, yellow container the canister that's over there and just run straight that way when you start getting too close you're going to notice that there's going to start to be a haze when you get up closer to it once you start getting to the haze make sure that you equipped those uh your gas mask because otherwise you will start taking damage and you're going to want your health because let's face it why would you want to lose health early in the game you don't want to do that so make sure you bring in a gas mask with you they're not too difficult to make if you go into your crafting menu right into armor and the gas mask should be in there. I'm on a new game and I just spawned this stuff in to make sure that I can make this video for you guys. But you see how you can start to see it's getting a little hazy right here? Right around this area, right before you get to the rake uh, handle, it's going to start getting a little hazy. So just pop your gas mask on, that way you're safe, and then run on in there because you're going to be all right. Now, you will start to see here that your stuff will start to take damage. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Stinkbug, I am making a video and I do not have time to fight you. And you just want to keep running this way, running past this juice box right here. So what you are looking for in this area, once you get around the outside of this, uh, this giant gas canister, whoop, I got attacked by something that scared me, whoopsie, um, is you're looking for a lantern. In fact, you're looking for this lantern right here. It's kind of hard to see through the haze, but there is a lantern that's right here and you want to run straight for that lantern. Once you're at that lantern, all you want to do is just uh, see, so you're standing here at the lantern, nice mushrooms in front of you, turn to the left, and there you go. You have discovered the haze lab. Now, the haze lab is right here for your character. It says it's right there, but it's actually right here. It's marked as right here. So if you guys are looking to get here, this is the location that you need to run to in order to get to the haze lab. Now, I have my gas mask on, but as I said, as soon as you get in here, it's going to get dark. So open on up and grab yourself a torch so you have plenty of light. And let's talk about what's inside of the haze lab. First off, you have a resource analyzer in here. So if you're near and you want to resource analyze anything or analyze any resources, you have that for you. Inside of this test tube, you also can see that you have a weevil that has some fungus growing on it. I'm assuming that this uh, this base was built 
after the fact of the gas being here, because why else would they build this other than if they were trying to test what would happen to these weevils? And you'll see that this weevil is absolutely freaking crazy. His eyes are spinning, which means he's somehow still alive in here, though he's floating in limbo. All right, let's continue on and let's look around a little bit more. We have some computer equipment and that's pretty much it for this room here. So we're going to go down this hallway. Now, while we're going down this hallway, I do want to tell you guys that this lab is not yet completed. This is like the pre-release version of the Haze Lab and that there's going to be an updated version of it released out later, kind of like they did with the Pond Lab. They gave you the Pond Lab, but then they changed the Pond Lab. Uh, that's going to happen with this one as well. Okay, now here is what I'm talking about, why you're going to want a weapon, because there are Taze T's in here. But more than just Taze T's, there is also, if we come around this corner right over here, there is a ta there's two more Taze T's here. But there's also an Arker in here, which is the newest enemy that has recently been added to Grounded. So you're going to want to be careful with those guys. Because Arkers shoot electronic blasts towards your character. So going around here, you will see here is your Arker. Now, they have a little bit more health than your standard Taze T, but not a lot. Ooh, and there's that Energy Blast. All right, and there you go. You just take out the Arker and you get 100 raw signs for killing it, just like you do from the Taze Tees. All of these little robots, you get a little bit of raw signs for them, which is awesome. But then it comes to the second enemy that's in the game. Uh, inside of this base and that is those infected weevils. I'm assuming that this was like a uh, an area for them to test the infected weevils. Um, because, or to, to like farm them, because there's so many of them that are in here. These are infected weevils. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, very good. Once that's done, feel free to grab yourself some infected weevil goo. That way you can go and analyze that. But let's go back in here and talk about what's back this direction. So back this direction, you'll see that you have a nice broken down area. It looks like something decided it wanted to escape from here and probably broke out that door and went to running. I'm assuming it was the weevils, um, but that's there. Also, right back here, you will see you have a broken out server that says caution high voltage right behind you. And if you come in here, there is what we like to call in the biz, the watcher hideout. I'm assuming it's the watcher hideout because of all the different screens. And also the story does mention something about a whiteboard. I do believe this is going to be that whiteboard that you're looking for information from, but that's there. On top of that, uh, you have a Brat Burst in here. In fact, you have a couple of them and some nice old granola bars, which I'm going to go ahead and throw down right now because poor Pete is hungry. But that is the Watcher Room. Now, there's nothing else in here yet. You guys can see that this room is not 100% complete. I feel like that we should get some sort of information, maybe from this terminal or from that whiteboard there. So nothing there yet. You got a pebblet there. And if you, the eagle eyed among you will notice that there is a footstep right there to that points that that person is trying trying to run out of here. Sure you should, Pete. Not during the video, though. So let's continue on. So running down this way, you will notice that you are now out in more of like a moldy area. But then you, if you run this way, you have a little underwater area. So this underwater area right now has nothing in it. Uh, there is an area that goes back this direction. I do believe we are going to get a scabby in this location or this will uh, go off to another place. Later on in another video, I will uh, go into my bug cam mode and I will start looking around underground to see what other things that they are working on in here but for now that's what we have so going on into the second room that's in here you'll see that you have a chair that you cannot pick up yet i hope that you can take those chairs at some point or at least sit in them because that would be really cool a coffee cup with a lot of stuff on the table including a granola bar and as you guys can see right here a burgle chip now what do you get if you get this burgle chip this burgle chip is how you unlock the stove at the oven and the grinder both of those come from this burgle chip which is how you build those uh, mushroom bricks and how you get the crow feather roofing so you are going to need that burgle chip you're going to need 6500 raw science in all to unlock everything that's on this burgle chip so if you don't have that go grind out with burgle to get some more raw science but it is very important to come over here and get this. I've gotten hundreds of questions on Sim. How do you get the oven? How do you get the grinder? How do you get the oven? How do you get the grinder? This is how you do it. You come in here and you grab this burgle chip. Now, to finish out our walkthrough, there is nothing that's down this way. And there is nothing that is over this way. So, 
Everything has been taken out here that has story elements to it, and if you come in here, you have some raw science. There will probably be a switch on the wall right here, like we have in the water lab, and the haze lab, and the hedge lab, but at the end of the day, that is not in here at the moment because they took all story leading stuff out of here for now. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. That is everything that is currently in the, ha the haze lab. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more. Please do not forget to subscribe. I really do appreciate it when you guys do that. Don't forget to turn your bell notification to all to check out all of the other videos that I am doing around Grounded and other games as well. I really do appreciate all of you guys, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.